Well, it's been a hot minute since I last made a new installment to this commentary series. Anyways, what new topic should I talk about today? Oh, I know. <laughs> September 30th marks the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, also known as Orange Shirt Day. This day recognizes the residential schools that were part of Canada's famous history. One of the many ways to celebrate this Canadian holiday is by wearing an orange shirt for a day, which is pretty simple really. A few Canadian railways would celebrate this holiday with specially painted units. The first one came out two years ago, when Canadian Pacific would unveil their own unit for this holiday in the form of ES44EC 8757 wearing a full-on orange livery with every child matters decals around the cab and sides. Upon its unveiling, some people liked it, some didn't. Hell, I remember when it was still tarped up, people were rumoring it to be a Milwaukee Road Heritage unit. Nonetheless, I honestly don't mind this unit. The orange colors is honestly neat for a rather primarily red railway. Even if there was another orange unit later on. The next year, the Ontario Northland Railway would unveil their own orange unit, with GP38-1808, wearing a rather fine dark shade of orange, brown stripes, and feather decals sprinkled throughout. Another fine unit, and honestly is nicely done. You gotta commemorate the effort that they put into this one locomotive. While the Northland and the Pacific did their own units to celebrate the holiday, another Canadian railroad had their own units to uh, <clears throat> celebrate Orange Shirt Day. You might have seen it from my Canada Day special, but in case you haven't seen it, yeah, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is not edit. This was legit real. Yes, this is how CN chooses to celebrate in the most depressing and underwhelming way possible. All they really did was slap a sticker on the side of the locomotive and just call it a day. Some units that were filthy had the area cleaned around them and not even giving the unit a fresh coat of paint or even a simple wash. And it wasn't just one locomotive. Not even two. It was five. And another thing to note is, unlike Canadian Pacific or Ontario Northland, which had publicity and articles covering about them, Canadian Nationals don't. The only thing you'll really find when searching up Canadian Nationals ECM locomotives are just Flickr posts or just random YouTube thumbnails that feature these locomotives. So why did CN make them? My theory as to why CN made them was to cash in on Canadian Pacific making one. Yet they made theirs two months after Orange Shirt Day. Which really shows you how cheap and lazy they were. And they honestly put more effort into the sticker rather than the presentation itself. It's more of a case of quantity over quality in this instance. Like, hell, I could make a better livery in like five minutes than what these corporations could do. And that's sort of saying something from a humble college student. CN's Every Child Matter units represent cashing in on something without understanding what made it work. And instead of putting in effort, they instead do a half-assed rush job with no effort into it whatsoever, just to appease an audience that, that just isn't there. It really shows how Canadian National is pretty much just the petty rival to Canadian Pacific. That's evident in the mergers, their business strategies, and the quality of their heritage locomotives. I mean, seriously, what the hell do you call that? But I'm curious to see what your thoughts are on this. Is Canadian National lazy? Did they even try it all? Let me know in the comments below, and let me know your thoughts on this discussion. <laughs>